welcome family and friends at home and in internet world to RLB channel your YouTube channel promoting 21st century generation gospel revolution for liberation and change please reach for your Bible and check the scripture references made even as you view this blog prayerfully I thank you kindly topic how to abort your generation in righteousness to gain Yahweh's approval definition Righteousness is a state of uprightness or being morally right. Beloved, righteousness or uprightness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Proverbs 14 24. And to Bart a generation in righteousness you must from the heart believe the scriptural fact that all have sinned Romans 3 23 and therefore all are under sin and that you will need Christ as your Savior to save you Romans 3 9 Matthew 1 21 and to stand guiltless in the sight of Yahweh our Creator a sinner has to be justified without the works of the law for by the works of the law no flesh is justified but rather by faith of Jesus Christ as it is written by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight for by the law is the knowledge of sin but now the righteousness of Yahweh without the law is manifested being witnessed by the law and the prophets even the righteousness of Yahweh which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe for there is no difference Romans 3 21 22 and beloved the same Yahweh who said unto Noah come down and all thy house into the ark for thee have I seen righteousness before me in this generation is this is also saying to us that is each individual who has been justified by faith today to birth a generation in righteousness come you and all your hosts unto Christ for you have I seen righteousness before me in this 21st century generation. Oh, let us lift our hands towards heaven and give Yahweh praise. Hallelujah! Beloved, the fact that all have sinned does not prevent sinners from being saved from their sins. No, not at all. For it is by Yahweh's free grace we are all saved. Ephesians 2 8. Grace is his unmerited favor. And through it, anyone who from the heart believes the word and puts their faith in Christ stands guiltless in the sight of Yahweh. Because Christ Jesus sets them free. And this is made possible because Yahweh offered Jesus the Christ 
that by his death, the sins of all peoples are forgiven through their faith in him. As it is written, being justified freely by his grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom Yahweh had set forth to be a propitiation, that is the, the, the means of bringing sin to an end through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that passed while Yahweh was exercising forbearance or tolerance so as to declare at this time that is in AD 23 and beyond his righteousness that he is just and the justifier of him which believe in Christ. Romans 3, 24, 23. I therefore urge the justified by Christ among the adults and young people of this 21st century generation who have not started a family altar in union with Christ, in your home, or in any convenient space, to start one and share the poor word with them by faith. To bark your generation in righteousness in the sight of Yahweh in your day. For what he said to know in his day is applicable to us today through Christ that is come you and all your house into the ark for you have I seen righteousness before me in this 24th century generation. The ark today is Christ. Oh, let us give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 If you believe this, you may say, Amen. I believe the word. And I say, Amen. Beloved, grounding our immediate generation in the word is very important for their mental and spiritual freedom in Christ and for character building. For example, improving certain good or useful traits in their character especially self-reliance, endurance, courage, and love for Yahweh and Christ his Son and his fellow men, to mention a few. Concerning the love of Yahweh, Jesus said, If a man loves me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our, our abode with him. John 14, 23. Thus it is important that each individual knows who the Father is and how to love him. Love. Know that God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ is Yahweh. He is the only true and living God and creator of the heavens and earth. As it is written, in the beginning, Yahweh 
created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 1. Again, but Yahweh is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting king. At his wrath, the heart shall tremble and the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation. Jeremiah 10 10. Yet again, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. John 17, 13. Beloved, we live in a time when less is known about Yahweh, our Creator and Heavenly Father. Since man's focus in these last days seems to be more on the secular world and its lust and pride of life. But thanks be to Yahweh. For from among our 24th century generation of adults and young people, there is still a great multitude known to Yahweh who believe in him. Balance between the material and the spiritual. And who, upon hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ, would from the heart love him and keep his words so that the Father and Christ his Son may come and abide within us. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! And my beloved, Yahweh give us the assurance that He is a single God. Let's pay keen in attention to Yahweh's use of the first person singular even as he introduced himself and or gave command to the people who came under his sovereignty. Whether individually or collectively. For example, look at these four selected I am. One. And when Abraham was 99, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Genesis 17 1. 2. And Yahweh appeared unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord, and I appeared unto Abraham, and unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, but the name of God Almighty, praise the Lord, by the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah, was I not known to them. Exodus 6, 3. I am the Lord thy God, who have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And four. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers unto the children of the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, 
But showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Beloved, from the frequent use of the pronoun I, which in the, in, in, in the scriptures previously mentioned, know and believe the word from the heart that Yahweh or Jehovah or Heavenly Father is a single God. Beloved, according to grammatical principles. If we parse and analyze the pronoun I in the sentence, I am the Lord or I am Almighty God, the pronoun I is personal. It is in the Nominative case, common gender, first person, singly number, and it is the subject of the verb am. This is the verb to be. Wherever it is used. And concerning who Jesus the Christ is, he is not Father God, but rather the Son of God with divinity. According to the scriptures, both at his baptism in Jordan River, with John the Baptist, and at his transfiguration in the presence of his disciples a voice from heaven declared this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased Matthew 3 16 7 5 chapter 7 verse 5 and then the Matthew 16 16 to 17 Yahweh the father of Jesus the Christ inspired Peter to answer correctly the fundamental question he had posed to them and that is who oh, say ye that I am And Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Plus Yahweh. Let's give him more praise for sending Jesus the Christ, his Son, to save us from our sins. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And thank you, Jesus. Beloved, this is the true word of Yahweh. It is the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Jude 3 or verse 3. Believe from the heart these words of Yahweh for a closer walk with him through Christ by faith in order to birth your generation in righteousness in the sight of Yahweh in your day and now this is your moment of inward transformation 
Hallelujah. Beloved, what Yahweh said to Noah in his day is applicable to us today through Christ Jesus. That is, come you and all your house into the ark which is Christ today for you have I seen righteousness before me in this 21st century generation hallelujah oh let us give God praise praise the Lord praise Yahweh glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for Christ Jesus. Because we who are justified by faith have peace with God. Besides, we are the, the, the living testimonies and witnesses to the fact that Yahweh is just. Because we are justified by faith in Jesus Christ. That's Tell everyone of this, this, this blessed deliverance and hope that is in Christ Jesus. So that they too might exercise their faith in Jesus Christ and be justified in the sight of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sinners have a great privilege and we have all sinned. For Christ came to save us from our sins. And my simple faith believing in him We are justified by, by faith. Because Yahweh the Father offered Christ Jesus up. So that by so that by through a shed blood we who believe in him are justified. That is stand guiltless in the presence of, my, of Almighty God. Provided that we believe and repented, return to Him and surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. May Yahweh bless you. And may you see the need for Christ to come into your life. I urge you to take Christ Jesus as your personal Savior Lord today. The world has little to offer in comparison to the abundance of blessings that are in store for those who put their trust in Galilee.
The word of God says, love not the world. Neither the things that are, that are in the world. But what are in the world? The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. These are not of the Father. These are of the world. And if any man love the Father, the love, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And the world passeth away. And the lust thereof. Praise the Lord. For the word of God abideth forever. Let's trust him at his word today. Come to Jesus, will you? Have a talk with him. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that you touch everyone praying at this time. You know the hearts, you know the, their situations. You know them because you made us all. I pray many will come to grips with Christ. That the Spirit of God at this time will draw them. For if the Spirit of God does not draw them, they wouldn't come. Draw them to Christ. Save them to the utmost. In the name of Jesus. So don't lose your hold on God's people. In the name of Jesus. Lord, those who may be sick today have special needs. And a financial Spiritual, physical, whatever needs, yeah. do supply. Give them wisdom to know how to, to earn and to multiply so that they have a great increase in whatever skills, abilities, whatever they might have for them. To get new skills, to learn new ones, in the name of Jesus, send help. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah. Touch bodies, heal sicknesses and diseases. As I course generation, uh, 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 Lord, because we come, we put an end to generation courses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By faith in Jesus Christ. We break them, break every yoke, make them whole. I declare the word today by faith of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we grant it. Amen. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, our time is up. Please click the subscribe red button. To be the first to be notified of my new videos. And for Yahweh's added blessings on your life, please share this video with at least 20 persons. 
as many as you are left to do. I thank you kindly. Do study the message and the scriptures references provided. And keep freedom. Well, bye for now. Stay the journey until the next redeeming love blog meet. Shalom!